Today is a little bag reveal. I can't wait to share what I recently picked up. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jenny and this channel is all about things we love such as handbags, mostly bags, but we love talking about anything that makes our hearts sing. And I love doing comparisons, hauls, reviews, content like that. I release two videos a week. So if you guys love handbags, you love watching reviews and just talking about the things we all love, then please consider subscribing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please stop by and say hello and let's just get into today's video. A couple days ago, I released a video called Quiet Luxury and I felt I felt like it was appropriate to share my latest reveal on this bag I recently picked up. Um, Quiet Luxury, if you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to drop it below, but I go through some of my thoughts on what it means to be Quiet Luxury and I guess net net is I believe there's a time and place for everything. I believe there's a moment for everything. And sometimes I just love a little monogram moment, but other times I want something more low key. So today is gonna be a bag that I picked up that is not only low key, but super affordable. And I'm just honestly so excited for it. So I already took the bag out of the box, um, but it is a bag and it's a brand called Melly. Bianco, if you guys know, you know, but this is a bag I picked up from Anthropology, believe it or not. You guys, just before I show you what is in this little bag over here, I've been loving Bottega Vintage or just Bottega in general, but I've been looking for the perfect shoulder bag that's in the size medium um, in the Bottega. But I wanted it specifically to be a vintage because for two reasons. Number one, the new Jodies in the small, medium, and other sizes are just so expensive. I think the lowest point is 4,000 something. That is just way too much for my wallet. Um, so I decided I wanted to go the pre-love route for many reasons other than just affordability. It's just the fact that Bottega leather is so good. That vintage leather is just so amazing. And most importantly, I love the fact that it sits flat. Um, as much as I love the knot on Bottega, you guys know I have the mini Jody. I love it for that knot. I just think it's a little too chunky to put around your shoulders, but vintage Bottega is very flat and just lays perfectly. I mean, they have different iterations of it, but the one I want is like that. I've been so close to picking them up, but whenever <sighs> I go for, to pick one up, it gets sold out. So on, I think it was Rebag, they had one. Um, and I marked it. It said that it was uh, a VIP, uh, what was it? A VIP preview. And I said it released in like 23 hours and 32 minutes or something like that. I literally had my alarm set up, but when I woke up, it was like during the night when I woke up and the bag was sold out. And I think it's because um, if you're actually in the VIP, which I don't know what qualifies for that, you get first dibs basically on the bag. So those are so popular. They sell it really fast. If you're looking for a good color, I was really picky. I only wanted it either in a neutral color, mainly I think black, just because I want it as like a throw around bag. And then secondly, you guys know my favorite color, green. Um, but I never see them green on the pre-love market and the black ones go like this. So I was like, okay, well, it's fine. I don't need it right now. Anyways, I'll just, you know, table it for now. But when I was on TikTok, I saw this bag everywhere. And I was just more curious to see like, what is the hype really about? And the price point was so good. So therefore, that is how I decided on this bag. So came like this. Obviously, it's not like a dust bag, dust bag, because it is from Anthro, but Anthro has some good, good bags there. If you're looking for something inexpensive, like you guys know, I picked up my um, Sherpa kind of bag over here. I love it so much, uh, but here it is. How good is this? This is the Melly. Let me just make sure I get the name right. Melly Bianco shoulder bag in the size large and this is a vegan leather but if you guys could feel it it feels so soft and buttery i don't know lately i've noticed that a lot of vegan leather has just really turned off like 10 notches everything is just so buttery soft like you wouldn't really even think about it i don't know like if this bag is gonna stand the test of time to be honest just because you know, I feel like leather just lasts longer. However, for the price point, it, even if I use this for a little bit and decide the bag is losing 
shape or quality or whatever it may be I, I it won't hurt me because I didn't pay that price so this one I got for $128 so that's so good because the vintage bags on these range from low end probably like if for a good quality one probably at least like nine higher nines all the way to $1450 $1500 it really just depends on you know a lot of different elements but I felt like for this amount of money, it was okay to try. And I found it in the green. These sell out so fast, but for some reason they just did a restock. So I was able to grab this bag. So I was so happy about it. And look, it's in gold hardware too. And the zipper is actually so smooth. And at your local anthropology, like sometimes their bags are just that good. So. First off, let me just show you how it sits. See how there's still this knot, but it's, it sits like super flat against um, my shoulders. So it's like so comfortable. And again, like this is a great bag to use as like a throw around bag. Like if I don't, if I need to carry a lot, but don't want to baby my bags, this is the bag I'm going to use. I'm going to show you what fits inside just because it is big. Um, and let me show you the inside. It has this super nice, inside pocket it just says Melly Bianco here so the real Bottega I do not believe they have a pocket at all and I love myself good side pockets and there's two slots here so you can actually put things in if I wanted to carry my Louis Vuitton desk agenda let's see if it fits okay it definitely fits but to be honest this is takes up too much room so I wouldn't actually carry it I mean, there are some days where I need it. I usually don't take my desk agenda out too much unless I'm going for a meeting. I need to like reference something, but most of the time this actually stays here at home. So, but at least I know if I need to bring it, it definitely fits. But realistically, what I would want to put is if I wanted to carry like makeup, you know, here is just a pouch with a bunch of stuff in it. Let's see if that fits. And that fits really nicely. I mean, I would need to carry a wallet that I could throw in here. I would want to carry some sanitizer. It's rare that I can fit any kind of glasses case into any of my bags, so if that fits, pretend I want to carry a drink too. And that's realistic what I would carry. And it is a perfect, perfect, and you see when you fill this bag up with more stuff, the like shoulder strap drops down. So it gives you more room here and it kind of doesn't sit as high up. And I think with the vintage Bottega is kind of like, or just any Bottega in general, it's the same idea. It like droops down like such if you actually have stuff in here, which I love. I think the great thing about Bottega in general is as you wear them, the leather just gets mushier. Um, I don't know again, like how this bag will be as time goes on, but for a hundred dollars, it's like not the end of the world. You know what I mean? It's different when you buy a bag that is, you know, a couple dollar signs and you just worry, you don't, you want to do your best to maintain it. I mean, you want to use them, but you want to use them with care. I mean, I do love my bags, but there are just days where I just don't want to have a fussy bag. So I feel like this will be perfect. And I just really wanted to share this with you because I felt like for the price, this is such a good alternative. If you're looking for a Bottega bag or you want to try something that is similar, but don't want to pay that price point, get yourself one of these. I think they still actually have these on the anthropology site. I'm going to drop links below. Um, I actually ordered this first time and then I got an email saying that, sorry, um, item got sold out. So you're your bag has been canceled. I was really sad. So I tried again and um, the second time it worked. So I did get it. Even if they are sold out anthropology, if you go on Melly Bianco's website, they actually have this and they have it in different colors. They have this one in the forest green. They also released a new color, which is like in this like minty color. And that's so cute too. But you guys know I love this color. But um, I just, this reminds me of like the Bottega Parakeet green and it just, really spoke to me so I needed to get this color um, and then I think they have it all in their like cream and like all of those on the Melly site I think it retails for more I want to say it's like 158 I'll drop it here in case I'm incorrect and then at Anthro it's 128 I don't know why it costs more on there I mean I know that the packaging is a little different you do get like I think a 
better dust bag and stuff like that. Um, but to me, it's just preference, right? It's not that big of a gap, but it is a little bit more on their original site. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you in case you guys are loving this style bag and you want to try it out before you purchase. You guys know I'm always for trying out an alternative before investing in the high end piece. And I just felt like this was perfect and perfect for year round as well. So if you guys are looking, I will drop all the links below and that is it. That is all. I just wanted to do a little bag reveal and share what fits inside here. If you guys love reveals like this, please consider give me a thumbs up and like always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.